I am so thankful that I have somebody with that I've been with for a long time that I'm going to be married and I don't have to deal with trying to find a woman or a female or try to hook up with somebody or whatever it is because it is a nightmare out there for men it is a nightmare out there for women. But the problem is what seems to be going on in society right now is that and we're going to talk about this Henry Cavill says he ref he won't date women because of the Me Too movement which I agree. I told you this was going to happen uh, uh, what a year and a half ago, 2 years ago, years ago I said you would see more males refusing to want to date women. You'd see more guys scared to talk to women. Um, and women need to initiate now because even women that do initiate then claim rape or assault when it didn't happen. Now, there are some disgusting men out there that do terrible things and they should be called out. And that's why the Me Too movement is, Me Too movement is great in a way. But also in another way, it's terrible because it becomes a witch hunt. This is like in our society. Go back and look at history. There's always been witch hunts for things like this. It's, it's just what's happening right now. So for every single person and movement, there, there are just false people being accused of things and it's running crazy. There are women coming out all over the place saying, guys won't talk to me. What's wrong with me? And they're pretty girls too. Guys are, are guys are going to be scared of you. I, like many guys are going to be. Probably, a, uh, but most pretty women probably get a, probably won't have to worry about it because enough guys are going to hit on them. You know, what I mean, they won't care. But I mean, especially for celebrities and stuff like that. Like even myself, uh, being I would never. I'm just I I don't know, man. You're going to see more men shooters. You're going to see more more killers, psychopaths, because guys are locked up in bedrooms playing Fortnite all day. Just like you know, we played a lot of games when I was a kid too. But guys who have trouble speaking to women, now they're really terrified of women. They think that they'll go to jail for talking to them and they'll become more mental and there'll be more shootings. You will see more shootings because of aggressive male tendencies. And I'm not saying that those males were going to go out and rape somebody or do something, right? I'm not, we're not saying that. We're not saying, well, you deterred a guy from raping someone. And the, all the women that are like, oh, Henry Cavill's an asshole now for doing this. No, he's not. Look up all the cases of the fake Me Too movement cases. Just look them all up. They're all over the place. The biggest example as far as celebrities go recently was Enzo Amore, at Real One on Twitter. Go look up Enzo Amore, the former WWE wrestler who was, call, who was said to rape some girl. And then if you looked at the girl's YouTube, for years she's been lying about rape and pregnancies and all kinds of other crazy things. Yet he was called a rapist by her. And the WWE fired him, and his whole life at that point had been ruined. And on top of that, the police investigated. Nothing happened. And even he was upset because it hurts the Me Too movement, stuff like that. But it goes on all the time. So for all these these dumb women who are responding saying, Oh, Henry Cavill's an asshole. What, what? So like, so you're allowed to have a Me Too movement, but Henry Cavill's not allowed to be terrified of being reported for something he didn't do because it's going on left and right you know oh i'm so sorry that the me too movement has inconvenienced you henry cavill i'm so sorry yeah it has inconvenienced men because they're being called rape many of them are being called rapists when they didn't do anything or go look at that gamer that Jake talked about the other day who simply asked a regular question about a game then a girl flipped out on him for mansplaining her and attacking her space and he might even be sexually aggressive. Like, what is wrong with some of these women nowadays? Yeah, I get it. We've always thought men are disgusting in many ways and do some messed up shit, but it's not all men. And, and now you're giving this open door to these attention-seeking whores who just f just use the Me Too movement. So you, this is what happens. People ruin it. People abuse it. So it used to be that guys could get away with just doing terrible things to women. Guys could get away with raping women, all these things. Well, not anymore with the Me Too movement. But not on top of that, it's not just that. It's also a slap in the face to innocent guys. So now, now not only are women still being attacked by men, you've added a new layer. Women were being attacked by men and assaulted by men. That was bad. Now you create the Me Too movement. That sort of defends against it. But you still have women being attacked by men and getting away with it. Like um, that sicko who 
who was the kid out in California, wherever it was, Brock Turner, who stuck stuff in a woman and raped her, basically, and he got like six weeks in jail, right? So that's BS. But now you've added a third layer that didn't used to be there before, which is accusing men falsely of these things and this mob mentality that accused guys of things that didn't do anything. It, it, like, guys who legit just hit on a woman normally, and I'm not talking about, hey, nice pussy, baby, like, not that type of gross stuff. I'm talking about just a guy like, hey, want to have a drink, and then eventually they get drunk, and then they hang out, and then they, they hook up. They're both drunk, and they hook up, and the next day the girl goes, ah, he, he assaulted me, basically, and pressured me and raped me. So you've added a third layer to this, making it worse. Believe it or not, things are worse now. It's almost unbelievable that things are kind of worse now. This has created a monster. It's a it's the wrong type of pushback that we've created in society. And it's not just with the Me Too movement. It's with everything. It's with like the black like the Black Lives Matter thing, everything. It's like some of it is great and absolutely necessary, but then the other half of it is is toxic. But I told you this is going to happen, man. I, I've been saying this for a long time. He added, it's very difficult to do that if there's certain rules in place. Because then it's like, well, I don't want to go up and talk to her because I'm going to be called a rapist or something. So you're like, forget it. I'm just going to go call an ex-girlfriend or somebody else, even though it never worked out. But it's way safer than casting myself into the fires of hell because I'm someone in the public eye. And if I go flirt with someone, then who knows what's going to happen? Exactly. This girl And this girl wrote, uh, who was the worst quote? The, the, this Helen Price. This is absurd. If Hel Henry Cavill doesn't want to be called a rapist, then all he has to do is not rape anyone. Um, Helen, I think you're a dumb cunt, Helen, because Enzo Amore didn't rape anyone, and he was called a rapist. Oh, Helen, you should do your research. Hundreds of people have been called a rapist more than ever, that aren't rapists. It's going on all over the place, Helen. I don't know if you're aware of this in your little SJW stupid bubble, bitch, but it's happening everywhere, Helen. Wake up and smell the fucking coffee, stupid. That would be like me denying that men aren't disgusting sometimes and assault women. Of course it happens, and it's bad. And that's why the Me Too movement was good in a way, but it's, it's just... Do you think Henry Cavill just made this up to be a dickhead? No. He looked at the news. He looked at the people. He looked at what's going on. Our society is dying. They want, And the corporations want this, by the way. The news companies, the mega news companies. Why do you think that the news attacked YouTube and had all of us creators demonetized, but then the YouTube gave the news $25 million? There, it's clear to see the whole world is is falling apart right now, and they want it. They want to they want to make sure that men and women are divorced, that they that they're not married together, they, that that they're separated. There's multiple housing possibilities, the market making money, and they want to make sure that there's just disarray with everyone. They want women fighting with men and colored people and, and white people. They want everybody fighting with everybody. That's what they want. That's the plan. Wake up and smell it. And you know what? Disney is one of the leaders in this, by the way. And every other corporation, Fox, CNN, they're all in it with a bunch of people that have a bunch of money. And this is what they, they, they wanted to do this. Social media. They figured out how to do it through social media, probably in one of their dark little meetings uh, or like hidden meetings away somewhere in a mountain where they're rich. I'm telling you, this is the breakdown of society. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, watch that episode of the Orville where they have the like buttons on their chests and the futuristic planet. It's what we're going through here. Um, you know, it's 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 not black or white. It's not black or white. It's it's not me too is terrible or me too is good. It's black and white. It's it's good and bad. Just like Helen, just like Henry Cavill, he's decided that that's it, man. I'm I'm done with this. I'm not going to get in trouble. But again, Helen thinks that only the Me Too movement is great. That there's nothing wrong with the Me Too movement whatsoever. Anybody that thinks the Me Anyone thinks that the Me Too, Me Too movement is the worst thing ever is probably wrong. Anybody thinks that the Me Too movement is the best thing ever is also wrong because the answer is in the middle. And honestly, these women need to start holding each other accountable as well. Not only do these women need to call out men when they harass them sexually for real, but these same women need to call out the women that are liars too. You can't just support everyone because then when 30% of them are lies... Your whole movement falls to shit. I love it, though. Women love Henry Cavill, wanted to probably date him and stuff like that. And he's like, nope, not doing it. 
Not doing it. You're going to see more shootings throughout the country, more killings, shootings, because angry males who don't know how to speak to women or are terrified of speaking to women. You think that this is happening just on a celebrity basis. You are wrong. There are phobias now, worse than ever. There always has been, but there's really bad phobias now with men, especially some maybe like quiet guys who are afraid of things, terrified to speak to women. They've seen the stories of guys going to jail for all kinds of stuff for that they didn't do. Okay, and then on the other side of the spectrum, you get guys Brock, like Brock Turner who can stick rocks and foreign objects or whatever he stuck in women. I don't even know what it was. He stuck in that girl um, and then go to jail for six weeks. So the world is hell at this point when guys can be lives can be ruined by a lie by a woman saying a guy did something because of a Me Too movement. And when on the other side of the spectrum, a guy can get away with molesting a girl and go to jail for six weeks. That's the world we live in, man. I don't understand it. I don't think you do. I don't know if anybody ever will. And I think it's going to get worse. I said this two years ago that you're going to start seeing people coming out and being like, not doing it. Here we are. Lots of other things have come true for Prophet Cronin as well, and I hate to say it, but it's true. Do you know how many people hit me up and was like, oh my God, Joe, you were right a year ago. It's happening. What are we going to do about it? I don't know. These women who are so crazy about calling out guys. Ah! Ah! Stop with the mob mentality and use your eyes and brain and think to yourself, innocent until proven guilty, find out what happened and then attack. Because every time you attack a guy who didn't do something, you hurt your own movement. There are actual despicable dudes out there that need to be called out. And you're ruining the validity of those accusations by going after people who didn't do anything and supporting women who call out guys who didn't do anything. We're all going to be, there's going to be no babies soon. Get ready. There's even a super bug now. And I'm not trying to fuck scare everybody, but there's a crazy super bug they, they've been finding out that's been in the DNA that's breaking down possibly uh, DNA in women, which could make things. It, it, dude, it's it's whacked out. I don't even need to talk about it. We'll talk about that in a separate video. I don't usually get into all that, but, you know, it's a possibility that something like that could happen. That's how DNA works, and that's how things can work. Now, we could evolve and probably overcome that, and some people would be immune to it, but it would. I don't know, it would create a weird layer to society. It would create a weird situation. Um, and it's very interesting thinking about getting into that, but we'll try to get into it later on if we all don't destroy ourselves. But uh, the rich people, it doesn't matter left or right, the rich people are smiling right now because they're getting what they wanted, man. They are getting what they wanted. I don't blame Henry Cavill. Thank God I'm not dating. I don't ever want to do it. Not in this society of this mob mentality, witch hunt since society on the right, on the left, on the every, every person, every group everywhere has a mob mentality. Now that's how you get, that's how you do get, I know a lot of people throw the word Nazi around. That's how you start to get to the Nazi. That's how you get to Nazis. You get groups forming everywhere that want to kill men. Like, you know, it starts with we need to stop these men, accuse all the men. All men are guilty. Now we hate the men. Now we want to kill the men. And now we need to exterminate men. I mean, then you find, then you get angry lesbian hate groups that are starting to come up where they want to end. They don't want to be around men anymore and seclude themselves. Uh, you get white guys who don't want to be around black guys. You get black people who want to seclude themselves from white people and they need to be raised. All this tribalism going on everywhere in every single group that gets created, everyone forms that bond and that tribalism uh, that turns people into villains. And eventually somebody steps over the line and takes it too far, right? We still have the KKK in this stupid country. Uh, they obviously have always taken it too far and are ridiculous. But you're going to see more of those groups popping up now. That seems to be what we're seeing. It seemed to be that we're still trying to get rid of the KKK. Can we do that? But now what you're seeing is KKK is basically popping up from other races and other groups and subdivisions of people. And now, so instead of getting rid of the KKK and then all of us being able to live okay, we've created opposite versions of that. We've created the polar opposite, right? We've created the yin to the yang, but in a bad way. And it's not yin and yang because yin and yang would be a love group or something like that versus that. But you know what I'm saying? 
We've created the opposite. We went the wrong way. We went down the skewed timeline in Back to the Future 2, right? We went down the wrong timeline. Rather than get rid of hate, get rid of the KKK, get rid of groups like that, We've created other groups like that. Antifa comes to mind. Masked people who think it's okay to assault other people who didn't do anything. Sure, if you want to assault the KKK, that's one thing. But you're assaulting people who didn't do anything on the right. Not the KKK. So now you're making them hate you, and you're a hate group, and now you're spreading hate. You have people still attacking gay people. People who don't like gay people. Hate groups on gay people. Now you have gay people hate groups that are hating on straight people. White males are really hated on right now. Black males have always been hated on by racist white people, which is terrible. But, I mean, when I walk around my neighborhood in my day, I'm friends with everybody. We're all friends. This shit online is a small group, but it's rising up. And that's why we're talking about it. I would have said 8% of the whole country was like this at one point. Maybe 5%, you know? Most of them probably white. Now, there's way tons of different groups. And it starts with uh, it, it starts with the original uh, people that were racist in the country and the original people that were assholes in the country. This is the reaction that we're getting now, finally, um, to what, you know, we've done, you know, over the last uh, 50 years. Uh, through social media, it's somehow come back and then come back at full force. I don't understand it. You know, it used to be, you know, the football player would beat the ki the nerd up in the locker room. But now it's the football player does beat the nerd up in the locker room, but the nerd also attacks people he think might be a football player later in life. Very weird. Very weird situation. And you know I'm right. What I'm saying right now is just not debatable. It's happening. And just know whatever your cause is, I sympathize with you and I'm fully empathetic, but I'm also fucking sick of this hateful bullshit from everybody. My name is Joe Cronin coming to you live from my other YouTube channel. This is the Corrupted Channel. I hope you subscribe for more videos. See you tonight at 10 p.m. live for Thursday Night Throwdown. I will be taking calls.